is Curtis. Today we are going to go over how to email through ministry platform. It's really easy and simple, but we're going to go through this kind of quick. And then there's some other steps that we're going to have to cover in other tutorials. So here's the deal. Number one, the number one step is write your email first. Yes, you heard me correct. Write your email first. And you'll see why in just a little bit. Um, and as an example, another tip, here is a folder that has templates that we use um, often with uh, uh, in emailing uh, individuals, something that's done repetitively. So here we have one that's when we're doing the coronavirus calls during the quarantine. This was an email template that we used um, in, as a follow-up um, and would encourage them to actually take um, tests. Or it could be also um, about the CVAST email, in the, as in this example. This is an example where we encouraged them and told them about the CVAST and we can put their link in here from Ministry Safe. So I'm gonna use one here from the Leadership Covenant. This is a template that we use to just copy and paste to go quickly. So I have my email written. Now when we sign in to Ministry Platform, the second step is we need to make a selection. And making a selection will, is another tutorial that's here on the YouTube channel. You can look that up. But we got to make a selection from a group. Typically, that's where we're going to get them from. Sometime a group uh, somewhere uh, where we're going to be emailing those individuals. So we need to find those individuals we're emailing. So here we're going to look up uh, in Ministry Platform. Over here on the left, we have groups. Then we have the name and the congregation um, and some other functions here. So we're going to look up uh, Boca. Let's talk about Boca East. So here are all the groups that are currently in Boca East the, that are in Ministry Platform. So I'm going to click down here on the Welcome Team uh, list in Boca. And this is actually going to bring up the individuals that are within that group. Right? So these are all the individuals that are in the Welcome Team for East Boca. Right, so I'm going to click up here and that's going to select all of these individuals, right? So we've selected those, but now we can email through this. It is possible to do that, that you can uh, create a new message. See right up here. You can. However, sometimes there are duplicates that are in that group and we want to remove those duplicates just in case. All right. So what we're going to do quickly is just go over here to the far right hand side and we're going to transfer that selection to contacts. That will take the group, remove any duplicates, and go select here to contacts and allow us to email. So here's the same individuals um, with any duplicates that are removed. And we're going to go up to tools, pull that down, and right up here at the top it says new message. That's a new message. So I'm going to click on that. This is going to bring up our new message dialog box, all right? So now here's, here's why we don't want to write the email when we get here. We want to write it beforehand because um, as we write this, first of all, the interface is kind of clunky. It can be difficult to deal with. But we come over here with that email that we've already written. So we're going to choose the email for the Leadership Coven. And notice we have the email subject line up here and some fill in the blank kind of stuff. So I'm going to select all and copy. Then go back to here and in this main body, copy and paste that email. Then up here, see where it says email subject? I'm going to copy that because that goes in the subject line here, right? So we'll say ministry name, welcome team, all right? All volunteers, please sign the Leadership Covenant. And you'll notice also that it says hello and it's got a nickname in the brackets. That's going to take their nickname, whatever that may be, in Ministry Platform, and it will put it in there. And I'll show you what that looks like. Now, you do need to go in and be sure and put in uh, your information if you're using a template, right? And I'm going to say here with the volunteer ministry, right? So we've got that information that's in there. And it's a, a copy and paste. Uh, we know what's already in there. We've got our subject line. So then we go to preview. And this is what it's going to look like. You'll see here it's got the from, the reply to email, and who it's going to be. So Linda is actually going to receive this. 
And notice that it changed. It, said, it doesn't say hello nickname, it says hello Linda, right? And then here's the email that's gonna be there. Now if I send, if I click over here on send right now in the lower right hand side, it will send this email to all those individuals that are within that group, right? For our purposes today, we do not need to do that, right? But what if you need to make a, a fix? What if something, you go, oh my gosh, there's something else I need to fix. Well, if you click the back button, you'll see that we can go back and we can edit our email. One little also bonus point here is you can go in here and actually you can schedule it to send an email at a specific time, um, which it is, it is possible to do that right here in the interface if you wanna send it uh, future date that email you can for an upcoming event or something that is possible to do that All right you can also add attachments it is possible to add an attachment to here it's a little clunky but you can drop a, an attachment on here and it will send it in the, the email all right but we recommend using links just for bandwidth and then the emails tend to, to go quicker so send links to the documents whenever you can so again when we come here, we've got this all filled out. We click the preview, all right, and then we vet it again. And if it's good, click that send button and you have sent that email through Ministry Platform. Now, one thing that you also should know about, in your home button over here, this is uh, my Ministry Platform. And uh, when I look over here on the left side, which this is our noun section, on the home section, in the second tab in, it says my messages. These are the messages that I have sent through ministry platforms. So there's, there's a list there that has a record of when I contacted somebody through ministry platform. It's not as good as email, but it does take note of, of emails and keeps track of that. And it will also show it on the recipients end as well too. We can look and see whether or not they received that email. Sometimes it can be just sort of a nice follow-up. So that's from the home button. Over here, second tab is under messages and you have a list of the emails that you've sent and who they were sent to. Last little tip for today. Also, you can go to Think Ministry and they have a knowledge base with more information on there. You might need to dig around a little bit to find exactly what you're looking for, but this is a great wealth of information on things like how to email through Ministry Platform. And that is at thinkministry.com forward slash KB. And I'll put that link there in the details section of the YouTube video so you can look that up. So guys, gals, wonderful volunteer coordinators, that is how you email through Ministry Platform. Hey, as always, if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. And you can always email us at volunteerhelp at calvaryftl.org. That's volunteerhelp at calvaryftl.org. And we would love to help you. God bless you guys and have a phenomenal day. Ciao.